Hi darlings, how's it going? It's Gwen with Mystic Tumbleweeds and I'm here to do a beautiful Power of Three reading today. That's what I'm calling them. I like to do these types of readings on days of the week, um, days of the calendar that are a three as well. So like today's the 21st, which is a three, right? So threes are all about um, connecting with Ascended Masters, connecting mind, body, and spirit and spirit kind of a thing um and really flowing with that with your truth with your spirit with um it's it's finding this connectedness in 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 quenching and quelling the loneliness of the human spirit sometimes um and the, what what cards are coming out here today the three cards that came out is it's really about that it's about knowing yourself um the more you know yourself the more you know the world the more you know the universe okay because that's what's inside of you okay and you are connected to your past over loved ones and you are connected to the gods okay and you are a very strong vessel of light and you are a strong temple okay deeply rooted in wisdom right right deeply rooted in the wisdom um, because you are still connected to your past lives to your ancestors okay and deeply deeply you know you are infinite you are eternal like as in spirit connected above as a as as above so below you know what i'm saying that that that's what's coming through in this reading and um i'm you know, burning some palo santo today I, the message is super deep um i had to go into quite a, a, a long meditation before i started it and I may need to refer to my book, but I do, do think that overall that's the message. That's what I'm going to title this video. So, you know, it's knowing yourself so you know the world, you know. It's those two things. Um, and so it all starts with self. I've been preaching that very much. Um, so the first card from my liminal spirits that came out is the ash tree. And I had to look up the ash Oh, that's very interesting. Do you see how it's coming across as very gold in color? This is a green card on my end. We're, okay, not weird. Weird. You see the green that's popping through? This is all green on my end. All green, all green, green, green. And it's coming through very gold. Um, the, the ash tree, uh, very symbolic, first of all. Uh, like the world tree, the tree of life. Okay, that's this tree um the the celts were very um very very um knew of the powers the magics of this tree of the essence the spirit of this tree you see how the roots are very deeply grounded okay when an ash tree gets cut down a new sapling comes up very quick the trunk is super strong and thick and you know it's used um for a witch's broom handle by the way and also in in making of wands for its for, for how hard the wood is, it's said that the, the ash is, uh, you know, is, is meant, is, 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 a, is a royal kind of wood, meaning, you know, like meant even for a queen's crown, honestly. Yeah. Um, but the, it also is, it, I'm seeing this connection between the root, the root, like I said, the roots of wisdom, the roots of wisdom, okay? connect you are connected you are this tree you are this tree okay you are connected with to your roots to your past over loved ones and to the gods and to eternity and to the spirit okay what i'm that's that's what i'm seeing in this card today it's a deep it, it the greens talk about uh deep heart healing uh deep but the gold that's coming through here is is, is it's coming through as a solar energy for me today too and the ash tree is used in amulets as well with a yellow ribbon tied around it to bring prosperity into the home okay um so there's it's a it's a time of a, of a rebirth of, of of a spiritual awakening within you seeing the connectedness seeing the synchronistic moments that there is no coincidences okay and okay 
Spirit's like, still go to the book because there's some beautiful messages that the tree has to for you. Um, Odin comes to mind. He's been coming up in my creativity a lot lately, um, but he, I really feel his presence here today. Um, and so I'm going to read to you what's in the book here. In Norse mythology, the Drazel, the world tree that contains all of the known nine worlds, is said to be an ash tree. Its roots are nestled in the underworld, its branches touch the heavens, and its trunk connects everything together. In one of his most famous myths, Odin sacrificed himself by hanging from the world tree in order to gain the wisdom of the runes and other secrets. Ashwood is exceptionally strong and durable and is said to able to bear more weight than any other wood. All of these stories combine to give ash the symbolism of connection, knowledge, insight, durability, and longevity. Okay. Your, the messages here in the book say, maybe you're allowing yourself to be distracted by minor differences instead of recognizing the greater similarities. Identify what's really, truly important and worthy of your attention. Be careful about focusing too much on one thing. Step back from the situation or assume another position until you can see everything, roots, trunk, and branches. You'll achieve a new insight. Hawk spirit coming in through for me big time lately, as well as the raven, the crow, and these are and and the uh, the eagle. You know these are birds that that are um, that fly super high. You know and have a higher. Um, have much wisdom and can take a step back and see the whole picture. Can you see the whole picture? Can you take a step back and see the roots, the trunk, and all of the branches? Okay? It may give you new insight. It's time to negotiate and make some sacrifices. You will succeed, but not without giving something in return. Okay? Abundance is about that flow, that balance, that give and take. We don't hoard our money hoarding energy like that. No, we give, we, we, we circulate it. Okay. I don't spend my money. I circulate it. The love I give comes back to me always more. My generous spirit, whatever I give, it's always comes back to me so much more. I'm always rewarded. I'm always fulfilled. My cup is overflowing. Okay. Um, the fairy that wanted to come out and to support this message of the ash. I mean, the ash is one of those trees too connected with, uh, the fae, you know, absolutely that the oak and the hawthorn, those three trees, absolutely, uh, for their magical properties. Um, this is the sorceress actually that came out today and it's very interesting. Um, it's about rituals, power, will. Remembering your ancient magics, remembering the ma the 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 liminal spirits in things, the magic in nature, okay, the magic in you, in you, okay, because you're seeing this connection, okay, and notice too, I mean, very, very, very much the holly berries that stand out to me, the holly plant that surrounds her crown. Okay. She even has a branch up top here. I mean, it just looks like it's reminding me almost of Christ with his crown and the blood coming off of him. Okay. Um, the holly berry is definitely a feminine kind of power coming through, really uh, tuning back into your divine feminine, your powers, your intuition, your creativity, and really bringing that to life and letting it flow. You have much wisdom through your intuition, your temple, your body tells you, okay? You've learned much and now's the time to, this is a card of action, okay? Card three, again, here we go with another three, okay? The ascended masters are here today. I'm telling you that. With, this, with the ash coming out and then this sorcerer card coming out, the holly berry, only the, there's the, I looked up the holly tree just to look that up and it's about abundance too. Many in folklore and legend and whatnot, you put the holly berry uh, reef in your house for prosperity as well, okay? Um, yeah, look into the holly berry more. The leaves are super prickly, you know, on the male leaf. And then on the female leaf, it's soft and smooth. It's, it's about duality. It's about coming together too. your masculine and your feminine in balancing those within yourself. Okay. 
so all of this new growth can happen. Um, and only the female plant, by the way, uh, has the red berry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I'm forgetting with that? It's about harnessing your own powers again, your own inner strength. Remember how strong the ash tree is. Okay. Um, you've never, you've not, you've not been given yourself enough credit to calmness is not a sign of weakness. I'm hearing you must work at bringing back your own power. She says at harnessing your strong and potent will which has until this time been neglected and underestimated. You are a being of power and commitment. Let us see what you can do when you finally believe in yourself at last. Powerful shit here, man. Powerful. Okay. This is about a resurrection for you. Okay. And that there is no rush. Okay. You are deeply rooted. We were always growing, okay? And you got horse spirit here, card 33, okay? I'm, <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all, I don't prep before I come on to the video. You know, I shuffle the cards real quick, and then I hit record, you know? And I'm not spending a lot of time doing that, and, you know? I think y'all have seen me shuffle, and the cards just fly out, you know? And that's what I go with. I wanted to do a power of three reading today because it was the day of three, and I got the sorcerers here with the three, and then the horse spirit here with the 33, okay? Three, three, three definite a huge powerful master number okay the horse spirit speaks about freedom freedom is yours through these newfound truths through recognizing your own powers of manifestation of prosperity okay this horse is coming across very very magical surrounded in white light look at the blue on his crown as well okay i'm hearing let go of the reins though sometimes you got to let go of control all right um Let's see what horse wants to say today. Just making sure I got everything, okay? It's about movement, the horse, right? Right? Okay. When horse spirit appears, you are gifted with the spirit of movement and freedom. It is time for travel and adventure. Whether that means a trip somewhere or taking a different type of journey, one of freedom of choice. Horse spirit reminds you that no matter the circumstances, you have free will and choice that can take you far away to a better place, a better situation, a better state of being. For there is no one but you to reign in your will to make a different decision. You are capable of making powerful choices that will affect you for a long time to come. Okay. They are known as social animals and a friend to mankind, and they're willing to carry us forward when we need it. Horse spirit reminds you to, that help will be available to you whenever you need it, and companions will be by your side wherever you choose to go, whatever direction you choose to travel. Life is an adventure, and horse spirit wants you to know that what whatever choices you make, you have the great spirit within, invisible, yes, holding you up and always walking by your side. Okay, um, this is so beautiful. As a protection message, he is coming in to say, are you feeling stuck? Has your spirit been broken by challenges you have faced? Your current choices may not seem the best, but you are not seeing the clearing ahead when you can break free and run. Whatever your choice is right now, they can lead you to exhilarating freedom. So trust the guidance of spirit. Horse spirit is here to tell you that adventure calls and you will soon realize your power is greater than you can imagine okay it's time to loosen up drop the reins let go and prance with others just for the fun of it my loves i've been telling my love ren to, to be playful and i hope he hears this message today to bring that playful spirit to, with you to work it doesn't have to be a doldrum you know you create the magic. You are this sorceress. You are deeply connected 
to earth and to the heavens, okay? You are that vessel in between. It is you, my loves. See you in everything. <laughs> three, three, three. <laughs> I love you guys. If this reading resonated with you today, comment below. Give me a thumbs up. I would sure love it. And we really do love all of your good karma donations. Bless you, big or small. May that come right back to you tenfold, ten thousandfold, right? Right? <laughs> And I'll see you guys soon, probably tomorrow with another beautiful reading. All my love I'm sending. Mwah.